You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share, you guys. I recognize that I am getting this video up a little late, later than I usually do. Sorry about that. Things got crazy, and yeah, that's it. Um, this is a book that I have been reading and reviewing the series of called The Top Secret Diary of Celie Valentine. And this is the third book in the series called Everything's Changed. And this is what this is about. Change isn't easy. Just ask Celie, who right now is trying to adjust to a new school far from her best friend. M make friends with two classmates who do not get along. Learn to live with the nurse who moved in to help take care of Granny. And fix problems between her sister, Joe, and Joe's boyfriend. Celie once again turns to her top secret diary as she deals with the upheaval in her life. So, she is 11 or 12 years old. I think she's closer to 12. And, um, she has moved somewhere else to have her Granny, um, close by so they can help take care of her and she again writes in the journal um there are two more books in the series that were previous to this one i will link them down up in the uh right hand corner it's called cards you can go check out the first two of the series out and this is like i said the third book this is a juvenile fiction book in the library um, this is a good book. This has, oh, let's see. This, like the other journals that I've done, this doesn't really have chapters per se, but it does have 171 pages. So it's not a long read. It's, it's a fairly good read. Um, I've talked about a little bit in my videos about perspective and how important that is for a, any book, no matter if you're writing or reading it. Uh, perspective is very important. So this is, again, from a 12-year-old girl. She's just figuring things out. She's uh, starting middle school, and she's doing the things that most kids her age are doing, just getting, you know, uh, trying to fix things between her sister and since they've had to move and things like that. It's very complicated when you're 12 years old. So, um, this is a good book. This does have a Kindle edition, I believe. And I will put affiliate links down in the description below where you can find it. Um, I do believe there is a list of the books in the series that you can check out too. I might link that in the description below too. If it's the same one, it'll be one link. If it's two different links, that's fine too. I'll just put two down there. Um, so I would recommend this to anyone 8 to 12 years old, um, if not older, because then they kind of have the perspective that a 12 year old might have and if somebody has a teenager in or a teen that or a preteen in around the same age they might um, kind of feel sorry for her, be sympathetic to what she's going through um, and that's always a good thing because if you're sympathetic to the characters or, you know, it, it makes it better. It makes it more personable. Um, anyway, this is a good book. I hope you guys check it out if you haven't already. If you've read this book, tell me. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I want to know. Um, put your comments down in the comment section below. Um... If after this review, did I make you want to read this book? Are you going to check out the other books in this series that I've done? 
All right. I think that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.